Saturday night and live on 2K Sports. We've got the excitement of the NBA for you tonight. And tonight, we've got the New York Knicks up against the Memphis Grizzlies here in FedEx Forum. This is Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And joining us courtside, reporter David Aldridge. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Mitchell Robinson. On the boards, he's been a much bigger presence these last few years than he had been prior. And he can be counted on now to make an impact with his rebounding. And that's a product of all the work he's put in down low. So we'll look at our starters for the Knicks. Up front, it's Randall at the four and Hartenstein at the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's on an OB in its small forward. And for the Grizzlies, they've got Jackson. Brandon Clark is out there with Desmond Bain. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's Morant in at the point. Here we are, Richard, in the middle part of the season. How much does a coach begin to worry about his team's output at this point of the year? Oh, well, that's all coaches do. They worry. It's in the DNA of being a coach. That's why I don't do it, because I never worry about anything. These guys right here, if they could have the best team ever assembled, I think coaches would still worry about production. Now here's Brunson. Following the miss by John ja Morant. Nailed from three-point land. Even genzo has got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Knicks. Morant passes to Bain. Driving the lane. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, I mean, their execution at times was flawless, but they also made some mistakes that ultimately did them in. And it's just a couple of bad breaks, and then you're on the losing end. I'm sure they're going to bounce back quickly. Here's Morant. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Clippers. Pass to Clark. Outside, Bain. Kick by Clark. Unloads from 13. Bain with the bucket. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Brunson with a clean look. That three off the mark. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Bain finds Clark. Memphis moving that ball around. The pass to Kennard. Just five to shoot. Morant, that's for two. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Okay, it's taking them a moment to find their rhythm, opening the game with some uneven one-for-four shooting. That's good from Randall on the assist from Brunson. How about three of four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Morant against Brunson. Clark sets a screen for Morant to the middle. And that one's good by Clark. And you see the unselfishness from Morant wanting to share that ball with any open teammate. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. It's truly hard to exaggerate just how explosive Ja Morant is on the floor. No, well, because there is no exaggeration, Greg. It's just whatever you say, you see. It is impressive, and he is elite. Richard, doesn't Dante DiVincenzo have infectious energy? The minute he hits the floor, he is playing his entire heart out. It's a jolt of energy for the team, and the fans feel it also. What's up? A great gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies teams. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy chip on their shoulder. They love to compete. The Knicks leading by six. Here's Brunson. A beautiful reverse layup. Brunson's got his second basket of the game. 
Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. This is their first look at this year's New York squad. Yeah, and they got the better of this matchup both times they faced off last season. Do they still have their number? I don't know, but I do know that they're looking at the possible finals matchups. These are two of the league's most dangerous teams, no doubt. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Randall passes to Brunson. Randall with a screen for Brunson. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Second shot opportunity. No good. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Morant dishes to Clark. Outside, Bain. Good on the triple. Bain's got five points so far. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. And the Grizzlies, they come in off the loss to Los Angeles. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I think they were shocked. Well, we'll see how they respond after that weak performance. It should tell us a lot about their character as a team. Here's Morant. And the points coming for him in big bunches. His average stands at just about 29 and a half points a game. And an OB kicks to Brunson. On the wing, DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. DiVincenzo's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Knicks. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Shooting at a high percentage. All teams aim to do that. Let's see the league's best. And third, the Grizzlies. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots. And it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Eight-point game. Morant surveying the D. Outside Jackson. Ananobi against Bain. Morant sets a screen for Bain. Four on the shot clock. Canard for three. Drills it from outside. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's DiVincenzo. He's got 11. There's the screen. Pass to Brunson. And an OB in the corner. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Grizzlies trail by five. Pass to Hartenstein. Outside for Randall. Even Shenzo with it. Pass to Hartenstein. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Grizzlies have gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Here's Morant. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning... Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. First free throw is good. And we talk a lot about Morant's athleticism and skill. But what stands out for me is his effort and intensity that he plays with. Both free throws, good from Morant. 
Great for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. Randall, no good. The Grizzlies trail by five. Kennard kicks to Morant. Jackson looking around. Bain passes to Clark. Two points. That one goes. Clark's got his second bucket tonight. You, you got to know this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. And an OB in the corner. And the pass to DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Santi Aldama's checked in for the Grizzlies. He hits both from the strike. The Grizzlies trail by five. And here's Morant. Pass to Aldama. Back to Morant. And he converts the layup. Morant's got six points. He gets a lot of defensive attention, but Morant, he can expect this type of rough scene anytime he takes it inside. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. The dish to Randall. Second chance effort. Hartenstein can't get it to go. Memphis has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Morant with it. Brunson picks him up. Yep, that one goes. And it's now only a one-point Knicks lead. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. The Knicks have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Even Chenzo passes to Brunson. To the paint. And it's Morant with the rebound. Hartenstein's gone one of three from the field here. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bain. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Knicks shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Brunson against Morant. Over in the corner, Randall. Kicked away. Bain with it. Now defended by Randall. Here's Morant. That shot is off. Brunson with some nice D. Going inside, even Shenzo gets the bucket. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. The Grizzlies trail by three. Pass to Eldama. Outside, Bain. The Grizzlies with another miss. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. He's covered by Clark. Does not find the basket. His third miss. He's made just one so far. Just doing the job on the backboard. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here.
So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. Williams comes in for Bain. Marcus Smart's checked in for Luke Kennard. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Morant. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Bogdanovich comes in for OG Ananobi. Alec Burks checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Josh Hart in for Jalen Brunson. The Knicks with the lead. Hart with it. 20 points for him last game against Dallas. He kicks to Burks. And the rejection by Jackson. A three from Bogdanovich. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Memphis has gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. The pass to Aldama. Dishes to Jackson. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Smart. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Grizzlies lead by one. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And here are the Knicks. Here's Hart. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Over in the corner, Randall. Oh, good with the triple. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now here's Rhodes. He averages about uh, five points a game. Smart against Burks. Randall outside. Back to Burks. 129 left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Pat Donovich wide open. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Yeah, and I, I'm a fan of that guy when he's shooting it from deep. Bogdanovich looks good every time it leaves his hands. Grizzly shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Rose passes to Smart. He dishes it to Jackson. Kicks it to Rose. Back to Jackson. Takes a three. It's rebounded by New York. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Pass to Burks. Randall left side. Puts one up from 19. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. And there's the foul. It will go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Williams kicks to Jackson. And the three ball is good. The potential of Jaron Jackson is endless. A center who has a tremendous J. Here's Randall. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And you have to mention his impact on the defensive end. Came up with three timely steals in that one as well. Now here is Robinson. Here's Hart. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And the Knicks lead by one. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Outside Rose. Down low. With two seconds left. This will blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And you can see the strength that Jackson has added to that huge frame. He is turning into a monster. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Performed well thus far this season with a 78% clip. A free throw drops for Jackson. And what really distinguishes Jackson, the soft touch of the shot. Most young bigs are still developing that. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And one more thing they've done well tonight. They've attacked the rim viciously and have gotten a lot of points by just going at the defender. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. They've got Marcus Smart. Jackson is out there with Sun T. Aldama. Then it's Williams. And it's Rose in at the point guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, but make it as hard as I can. And if I block it, then cool. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Morant says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. Hey, D.A., thank you. Brunson kicks to Burks. Outside, Bogdanovich. Pocket six. Back to Burks. For the three. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Memphis leading by seven. Williams looking around. Smart against Burks. Jackson passes to Eldoma. Over Robinson. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the first of four played at home for him. Burks' shot is good. Craig, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. The kick out to Williams. Misses the three. Knicks trail by five. Runs in the bounce pass. A three from Bogdanovich. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got six assists now in the game. Now smart. Last game out, he had 14. It's Jackson atop the key. Trying to find Brunson. Gets it to him. Works with it. Now guarded by Smart. And Brunson has it in the corner. And again, New York with the triple. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Knicks. From the tip, they are not making things easy on them. Lots of steals playing disruptive basketball. And something else they've done well tonight is finding points in transition. So far, the fast break has been a plus for them. Here's New York. They've got an 8-0 run. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high team offense should look like. Passes it to Achua. He kicks it to Burks. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Grizzlies. Pass to Eldama. Back to Rose. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Out left to the wing. Three-pointer. Robinson with the block. Smart against Burks. Outside Robinson. There's the pass to Achua. Burks looking around. Kicks it to Robinson. New York needs to get off a shot. The dunk by Achua. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Timeout called the Grizzlies.
for the Knicks. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Precious Achua. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Alec Burks. Here's Smart. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. The dish to Jackson. Trying to end the drought. Robinson with the block. DiVincenzo against Smart. DiVincenzo passes to Bogdanovich. He can't get it to go. Nice D from Williams. The Grizzlies trail by three. Rose kicks to Smart. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got three assists in the game. Entering the league as a defensive stopper and a hustle guy, Greg, Marcus Smart has really rounded out his game. And Kevin, he's put in the work. Retool the shooting mechanics, playmaking style, but what's been most consistent, he still steps up in the biggest moments on both sides of the ball. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. And here is Robinson. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Rose. That's his second. And I think they'll keep him in. But he's got to be careful. A third and he'll sit for the rest of the half. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And all you need to do is see his free throw percentage, guys. 90 for the season to know what kind of year he's having. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. He does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. The Knicks have gone 4-7 of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Here's Brunson. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. Here's Bogdanovich. He's guarded by Williams. Shot clock at five. A three for DiVincenzo. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Rose against Brunson. Jackson setting the pick here for Rose. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Putting his 6'11 frame to use. Jackson's a low down low. Good luck stopping him. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And the first one drops. Some changes for Memphis. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Watsonabe. Bain comes in for Williams. And it's Williams in for Derrick Rose. And so Jackson nails both of them. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Runs in the pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Hartenstein. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Robinson kicks to Bogdanovich. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Eight points for Boyan Bogdanovich. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Smart. He's got five. Pass to Bain. No one near him. Basket counts. Bain's got it all tied up now for the Grizzlies. You can't leave someone open when Smart is running his team because he will find that mistake. Bounce pass Bogdanovich. Passes to Robinson. Brunson against Smart. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
That one on Smart. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. That one falls for Brunson. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Santi Aldama's checked in for Jackson. Luke Kennard comes in for Williams. And it's Morant in for Smart. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Morant against Brunson. Morant passes to Bain. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. RJ, if you redrafted the 2020 draft, Desmond Bain would go much higher than number 30. Yeah, he was a steal at number 30, and he would probably go top five in a redraft. He is an elite shooter who continues to grow as a playmaker and defender. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Now here's Brunson. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against Dallas. And even if he took away his points, he was still an offensive force because of his passing. His assist numbers were tremendous. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. Outside, Bain. Morant with the screen on Ananobi. Bain kicks to Clark. Kennard, the pass to Bain. Six to shoot. Clark sets a screen for Morant. And slam dunk by Clark. Morant's got great understanding of the game. He can move like very few can in that pick and roll set. For New York, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Randall with a screen for Brunson. And an OB in the corner. Randall outside. Back to Ananobi. Here's the three. The Knicks rebound. Tries yet again. Here's Randall. They shoot again. Hits the lamp after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Randall's got his second bucket of the night. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Morant outside. Back to Clark. Morant with the screen on Randall. Here's Clark. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. DiVincenzo passes to Anunoki. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. The Grizzlies trail by five. Morant kicks to Clark. Outside, Bain lets it go with a three. The Knicks pull it in. Hartenstein's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's DiVincenzo off with the layup. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than that. Moran finds Bain. Picked by Clark. Just five on the clock. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Boy, Richard Coach has got to love having a flex guy like Brandon Clark around. A classic high utility player. Stick him in the game and you're getting points, rebounds, and you're going to get good defense. He gives you a little bit of everything you need.
and he knocks down the first one. Watanabe's checked in for Santi Aldama. Bogdanovich is checked in for the Knicks. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Knicks leading by three. Randall outside. Pass to DiVincenzo. Bogdanovich looking around. And it's tonight. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Six on the shot clock. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And for Memphis, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. The pass to Clark. Payne for three. Hits it from three-point range. Payne's got 11. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. New York's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Ananobi against Kinnard. Outside Bogdanovich. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. He's got 11. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. The Grizzlies trail by five. Morant passes to Clark. Memphis moving that ball around. Pass to Kinnard. Here's Watanabe. And here's Kennard. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Clippers. DiVincenzo with it. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. And it's Bogdanovich again missing. Bean passes to Watanabe. Morant kicks to Clark. Passes it to Watanabe. Clark a screen on Randall. Back to Clark. And it's Clark with the jam. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. One oh seven left in the first half of basketball. DiVincenzo finds Ananobi. Outside Bogdanovich. There's a screen. Spins. Hartenstein. Grizzlies with the rebound. Clark's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bain passes to Morant. Thirty-five seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Let's it go from deep. Good on the three-point shot. Watanabe's got the game tied up here for the Grizzlies. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. 29 seconds left to play in the first half. Morant's against DiVincenzo. He kicks to Randall. 15 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Hartenstein. Bain looking around. On the way in Bain. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Coach Tibbs. You're hanging in there. What's the key to get control of this game? Uh, we got to get some stops. That's a big thing. We fell behind to start the game. Starting to work our way back. And uh, we got to keep it going. But we got to get stops so we get out and run. Never a surprise that defense is first in coach's mind. Back to you guys. 
All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Hello, everybody. So far, a fairly even game for the Memphis Grizzlies through the first two quarters. And for me, it's pretty simple. They've been getting bullied on the board so far. If uh, they want to flip the script, they may need to send everyone to the glass. 100%, big fella. Where is the effort? And now, your favorite part of this show, for some reason, social media posts. All right, fellas, here's a question from No Foolin' Julian. They ask of all the greats you played with, who was your all-time favorite teammate? That's got to be a tough one. I'd go back to my Laker days and say, Rick Fox, we had so much fun on the floor together. Mm, you know, I shared the load with so many talented guys, but I'm going to say EJ is my favorite teammate of all time. Aww. Stop sucking up, Kenny. You just don't want to have to say Hakeem name again. Yes, he does. Oh, come on. Hey, Jet, you and me, I appreciate you. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Nice game. Great performance by Dante DiVincenzo. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Here's who Tom Thibodeau is starting the second half with. Up front, it's Randall at the four and Hartenstein at the five. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the three spot. And it's Clark slamming it down. And when Clark is on fire, he stays aggressive. You got to love how this young fella is willing to dominate games. New York's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That is his first foul of the game. Grizzlies on defense. Randall surveying the D. To the inside. Here's Brunson. I like Morant's working like approach on D. He finds good matchups and makes an impact. Kicks to Jackson. Inside, here's Clark, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. New York called for the foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. And he makes the first but misses the second. It wasn't perfect, but it was enough to give them the lead. It's Randall with the drive. That one, no good. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Grizzlies. Bain kicks to Morant. And he banks in the lane. And that's now 10 points for John ja Morant. Good D sometimes just isn't enough against John ja Morant. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And there's the pass to Brunson. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And defense is all over Brunson inside, but still manages to outmaneuver them for the deuce. 
And for Memphis, they're shooting at 51%. Really solid. Here's Morant. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. New York trailing. Even Chenzo with it. He's picked up by Morant. Here's Randall. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. You know, they like Randall to be an offensive presence in the paint. They want him to be an option on every possession. Right side, Bain. Morant outside. Pass to Kennard. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Jackson. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Hartenstein. Passes to Anandope. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Here's Bain. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his sixth assist on the night. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail biter. Pass to Brunson. And there's the drive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. And he saw a lane, and Brunson decides to challenge it. Doesn't take but a sliver of daylight for him to be aggressive. First one falls. And both free throws good for Brunson. Memphis trailing here. Morant outside. Now the pass to Bain. Traps in the tray. Bain's got 16. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Josh Hart. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Brunson against Morant. That's Duan and open. Takes it inside, and Ananobi slams it in. And the penetrating ability of Ananobi, confident when it comes to attacking the defense. Brunson against Morant. Clark kicks to Morant. Pass to Jackson. There's the three. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Brunson with it. Guarded now by Clark. And blocked by B. Now Morant. He's got 10. Pass to Bain. Dishes it to Clark. Bain sets the screen for Clark. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. A three-pointer, no good. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the Knicks. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And we've seen Randall up his aggressiveness lately, accepting more responsibility and taking more initiative. 
The Knicks have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And he makes the first. No good on the second free throw. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for New York. I like how they've been attacking the lane. It's been beautiful. All game long, they've been successful penetrating and getting offensive production. And another stat that they've excelled at is points off assists. They're moving the ball around and creating great looks for one another. Brunson against Morant. Let's a floater go. Outside Jackson. Clark outside. And another miss by Memphis. For New York, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. DiVincenzo finds Ananobi. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Brunson. And the rejection by Clark. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Jackson. Clark outside. Knocked away. Here's DiVincenzo. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one's on Morant. Clearly a foul. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. One falls for, and New York making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And how about the numbers here for Ja Morant? And ranked among the top 10 in scoring, he can fill it up with the best of them. And as you said, dropping dimes at a top five pace. He's in total command of his team. They look to him for leadership, and he does not disappoint. Memphis has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. to the inside Clark kicks to Jackson and Jackson throws it down hard the strong finish from Jackson Jr. he goes up with power inside the paint New York's got the three point shot off 16 times tonight 7 times they've hit it 9 times they've missed runs in the bounce pass here's Hartenstein Gets the bucket and the foul. That's on Jaron Jackson. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Grizzlies making a switch here. Aldama's checked in. And that 
one misses. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. On the wing, Bain. Good. And a nice assist from Moran. Bain's got 20. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's running around the perimeter ready to fire. Memphis has gone 2 of 5 with a three point shot since coming out of the break. Morant kicks to Kinnaw. On the three off target. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. And a key guy for this offense, Luke Kinnaw. One of the best shooters in the game can do it off the catch and off the bounce. Rarely misses a free throw. And when he doesn't have a good look, he makes the right play. Morant against Brunson. Outside, Bain. Knocks down the three ball. Bain's got 12 now in this quarter. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Even Genzo against Kinnar. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. Driving to the basket. Memphis has gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Here's Morant. It's rebounded by New York. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Now the Grizzlies' backcourt is in the conversation for the best starting backcourt in the league. Desmond Bain says, Ja is obviously the focus, and that's why I feel like we're a good combo. If they want to sell out on him and pack in the paint, and that leaves me open in the perimeter to do my damage. Kevin, back to you. And he does a lot of damage. David, thanks. A great tandem indeed. Now here's Randall. Seven points in the game. Back to Bogdanovich. Morantz with the steal. And here's the fast break. And then Clark slams it in. The dime courtesy of Morant. I'd love to play with Josh. He's always looking to move that ball. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Watanabe's checked in for Clark. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Bain. Then for the Knicks, Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. And it's Burks in for Jalen Brunson. Outside Bogdanovich. From deep. A shot that time, not on target. Memphis leading by four. Kennard, the pass to Watsonabe. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Outside, Bogdanovich. Outside, Robinson. Will it go? Here's the drive. It's rebounded by Memphis. Eldama's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Watanabe. Good and a nice assist from Morant. And now it's an eight-point Grizzly lead. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. New York has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. The pass to Randall. Robinson left side. Outside, Bogdanovich. Randall a screen on Kennard. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Bogdanovich has got 14 points for the game. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. And for the Grizzlies, they're shooting it beautiful here in the third. 56% from the field. Burks against Smart. Kennard for three. It's good from long range. Kennard's got the lead. Back up to eight now for Memphis. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Burks finds DiVincenzo. Randall from outside. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Didn't get a three in the first half, but now he's on the board with his first triple of the game. 
Morant against DiVincenzo. And stolen by DiVincenzo. A minute 20 left in the third. Burks in the corner. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, the keep it simple method. Good decision to use the bounce pass just to get it there. Memphis has gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Up top, Morant. Defended by DiVincenzo. And the basket is good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. DiVincenzo, the bounce pass. Randall right side. Unloads. Aldama with the rebound. Aldama's got rebound number eight now on the night. Watanabe. Robinson with the block. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. It's deflected. They get it back. Memphis leading by four. As to Watanabe. A three. Good and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists tonight. And here's Randall. Into the lane. And Randall's never been one to back down from physical play inside. And he's not going to start now. For New York, they have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. That one is off. Both teams will make substitutions. Second free throw, good. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. From beyond the arc, they've been absolutely tremendous. We'll return shortly. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. Keep the ball moving. Quick decisions. Get the ball from side to side. Set better screens. Defensively, we got to do a much better job. Let's get on the glass. Urging his squad to be more decisive, especially Greg on the defensive end. Yeah, Coach Thibodeau isn't pleased with his guys' effort. It's clear he wants them to be more aggressive. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. We've got Derek Rose. Also, smart out there. Jaron Jackson is out there with Williams. And it's Watsonabe in at the four slot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Passes it to Achua. The shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Outside Rose. Smart puts the pick in for Rose. Back to Smart. The tray. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Achua's got his fourth rebound in this one. Brunson scanning the floor. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. to Brunson. Beyond the clock. Burks in the corner. Off target from three-point range. 
And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. And Memphis making a change here. Laravia is checked in. Smart with the ball. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. To the middle. Robinson with the block. Knicks trail by four. So here's Burks. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Here's Williams. Robinson with the block. Here's Brunson. Around the back and lays it in. And that's now 19 points here for Jalen Brunson. Playing bigger than he looks. Brunson has a lot of heart. Memphis has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And a switcher also for New York. Even Genzo's checked in. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. Coach was really hyping up his guys. He told them, this is what it's all about, fellas. You're in this spot for a reason. Go out and take this win. We'll see if they can follow those instructions. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Right side, Rose. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Smart dishes to Williams. Kennard, the pass to Jackson. Smart against DiVincenzo. Five on the clock. Shoots. And again, Memphis no good. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Thompson with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. DiVincenzo with the screen on Rose. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. DiVincenzo's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. Smart passes to Jackson. Outside Rose. They need this one. A three-pointer is right on target. The team first mindset of Jackson willing to get the ball to his open guys. Now Brunson. There's a good screen. Down low. Achua finds Robinson. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And it's Williams with the ball for Memphis. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. They recover it. And the shot is good. Knicks trail by five. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Bogdanovich. Down to five on the shot clock. And the rejection by Jackson. Right side Rose. Cut on for three. Robinson pulls it in. Knicks have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Bogdanovich goes in. No good. Shot missing. And the Grizzlies leading by five. Williams dishes to Rose. Jackson a screen on Bogdanovich. Rose against Bogdanovich. Rose can't hit. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. 
And Bogdanovich kicks to DiVincenzo. Hangs home the trifecta. DiVincenzo's got five points in the quarter. After a tremendous first quarter, three trays, he's put in another. Outside Jackson. Here's Rose. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. DiVincenzo with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Achua, the pass to DiVincenzo. To tie it up. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Memphis has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Smart passes to Jackson. He dishes it to Rose. Shoots over Brunson. Robinson with the block. Williams kicks to Rose. No good from outside. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Santi Aldama's checked in for Jackson. Clark comes in for Williams. Baines checked in for Marcus Smart. And it's John Morant in for Derrick Rose. Hartenstein, he's checked in for the Knicks. Julius Randle comes in for Bogdanovich. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. The Grizzlies shooting well. They're at 45%. Here's Bain. Sinks the 15-footer. Bain's got 14 points now in the second half. In the second half, we've seen him refocus his shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. Runs in the pass to Robinson. Find Divine Brunson. Gets it to him. Outside for Randall. Over Bain. And with that shot, the Grizzly lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Randall. Working on being more consistent with this shot, Randall certainly helping his confidence moving forward. Morant against Brunson. Outside, Bain. Clark, outside. Bain against Randall. This one for three. Bain, no good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Brunson goes in. And the rejection by Morant. Hartenstein can't get it to go. Hartenstein's gone two for seven from the field. Pass to Morant. Altama with the ball. Bain kicks to Morant. A kick out to Bain. There's a screen by Aldama. A three-pointer off the mark. New York trailing. Now here's Brunson. Brunson with another miss. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. And the first one at the line is good. Jaron Jackson's checked in for Santi Aldama. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Ananobi, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Randall kicks to Brunson. Back to Randall. And there's the pass to Brunson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Brunson's got 10 points in just the second half. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. They lead by one. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. New York calls timeout. Hartenstein's checked in for Robinson.
And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson draws the double. Some nice passing by New York here. Clark against DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. Ananobi. And Ananobi slams it in. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Up top, Morant. Brunson covering. Morant passes to Jackson. Now here's Morant. And it's blocked. And here is Ananobi. Here's Brunson. Handle outside. Back to Brunson. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Randall from outside. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Clark finds Bain. In the corner, Kennard with it. The putback. Count the basket and the foul. That one goes on Ananobi. And the first thing I thought of, confidence from Clark. Knows his team needs a bucket and goes out and gets it. One shot. That one misses for Clark. The Knicks with the lead. Now, Brunson passes it to Ananobi. Brunson draws the double. Back to Ananobi. Let's the free fly. It's Clark with the rebound. Clark's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Morant against Brunson. Outside, Bain. Drains it from beyond the arc. Bain's got seven points for the quarter. I see E. Ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. Morant's against Brunson. He takes it in. Makes it off the glass. Brunson's got the game tied up here for New York. Nerves never show through. Brunson as calm and cool as they come down the stretch. Bain with it. 139 left in the game. To the paint. Here's Clark. He gets it in there. Clark's got 19 points. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. New York's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Here's DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Memphis. Clark's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. That's off as well. So he misses both. Nick shooting reasonably well, 45%. Here's Brunson, and he finishes nicely on the way. Brunson's got 14 points here in the second half. Showing time and time again, he is comfortable being that first option. Brunson delivering in the clutch. And for Memphis, they're shooting well. They're at 45%. Payne for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Payne's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for Memphis. Wow, look at the damage this young man is doing from deep. And there's another one. And the defense has to know that taking away his three is the number one priority. And he's hurt them all game long. With that shot, it makes no sense. Kennard kicks to Bain. Morant outside. Down low, trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. 
Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that tacks another big point onto the lead. Great N1 play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. Near the three-point line, it's Steven Chinzo. Got it. And now they trail by just four. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up his lead. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Randall from outside. Come. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. So the first one drops and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by six. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? There's still a sliver of hope. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. Even Chenzo passes to Randall. Beyond the arc. Even Shenzo can't hit it. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. New York calls timeout. They're behind by eight. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. A three for DiVincenzo. It's in! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Nine seconds left to play here in the fourth. A three for DiVincenzo. Nails the tray. Just a humongous fourth quarter for him, especially from long range. Just in a groove now, and that tray has been dead. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody have the green light. So, I mean, there's no no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just lets you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you. So. 
You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Brandon Clark.